Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be checking out Salary Client. Now, Salary Client is a all around client for uh, version 1.0 to 1.20. I don't know, pre versions. I don't know. But um, it has Optified incorporated with it. It is a smooth FPS client, and we're going to be checking out the client settings and, and all the tweaks to this client. Also, guys, let me show you how to download Salary Client real quick. So, first, you're going to type in Salary Client or whatever it is. I spelled it wrong, but yeah, it'll, it'll show you the Salary Launcher. This is the official website. Over here, it's it says there's 7,900 online players, and yeah, it's from 1.8.9 to 1.19.2 and all this cool stuff you're gonna click download right now i'm a window i'm on windows pc so i'm gonna click for windows there there i have the salary client launcher i'm going to open that then i'm gonna click yes And then it's going to install the launcher. And the reason it's not installing on my end is because I already have it. So it doesn't need to do all the work. But yeah, here you go. And then it'll open the salary launcher over here. You can change the amount of RAM it takes up and change the uh, language. And other than that, you could just press play and it will open up slightly. So yeah. That's how you download Salary Client. It's quick and easy. So first of all, the first thing you should see with this client is the start screen over here. And you have single player over here. Then you have multiplayer. And then this is uh, currently not available for some reason. I don't know why. Um, you have the options menu right here. You have the language. It's, yeah, that's pretty much it. And this is how you get out of the game right here. So... If you go on to add-ons, they haven't created add-ons yet, but they will do that, so yeah. And there's a bunch of skins you could get, a bunch of shops. Uh, first of all, we should go into maybe a single-player world. Uh, click my account, and then I only have one world in this, so I'll create a new world. I'll call it Test. Really bad spelling, Test World. And yeah, we'll start creating it. We'll like, yeah, just like so. Okay, guys, we have loaded it to a new world that I have a bunch of things popping up on my screen about server translation. But yeah, anyway, uh, you can see on the left screen, the R, uh, the left screen on the bottom. There's like an armor HUD, but you it'll be more seeable once I put armor on. There's uh, the left mouse button, right mouse button. There's you, there's like a, okay, I'll just show you the settings. Um, okay, go to Salweer, client settings. Okay, the global settings, we have display emojis and texts. We have Fulbright right here, so everything will be bright in your world. We have mumbling, back view key, uh, all, all general stuff. And yeah, for better skies, we if we toggle better skies, we can if we have a texture pack on, then we could we can change the time of the day and we can change the speed. Um also you could also use real time. So in real time, in your time, it'll go from day all the way to night. But it won't be true if you're playing in, like, a world. But it would be cool if you were playing in Hypixel or something like that. Well, anyway, you could also add an overworld sky end of action. And, yeah. Uh, for the boss bar, just toggle if you want to see a boss bar. Uh, color saturation. Uh, like, change the saturation of game colors, which means, like, change how bright 
colors are, how dark colors are, something like that. Um, yep, we have high pixel mods. If you're playing high pixel, you have auto GG. Uh, you could say a good game, good game, or just GG in general. An anti GG auto who and auto friend for high pixel mods. Notifications. Uh, Notifications key is Y and the notifications deny key is N. So if you get a notification from like someone on the Salweer client platform, then you can you can notify them back. And so the performance mod is smooth frames, chunk update limiter, and low settings. I'll just turn that all on. Scoreboard we have for high pixel since I'm not a high pixel. Uh, it doesn't matter if I turn this on or not because but if you're in high pixel turn on the scoreboard or any other if, if you're just in any like other like popular server I would just turn on the scoreboard okay we also have tag TNT it, it will just show the countdown timer as you can see here but if you toggle that on as you can see there will be a countdown timer for the TNT to explode so uh for 1.7 animations, there's literally just a hit delay animation. Nothing too much for hate you'd handle. Um, block overlay, you could pick border, surface, or full, and you could pick which color it is, or animation like chromo, or you could make a custom animation. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can do a lot with block overlays in this client. Um, chat. It'll show you how big the chat is. You can make it adaptive, transparent. I like it transparent, but you can pick whatever you want. Or it could just be full like this, but I don't like that. I like it like transparent. And also I would turn on smooth chat because it just looks cool. And yeah, uh, for crosshair, you probably, I don't really mess with this, but uh, you could make your own crosshair, how big the, how, how the width of it, the gap, the thickness, the dynamic, the thickness, the color of it, the color of the dot, the color of the outline, the color of, of all of it. So, yeah, that's the crosshair section. Name tag and tab, uh, sal there's a Salweer logo, it'll show if, it'll show. You can enable this if you want, but you could you could also render self name tag in, in F five mode, render in F one mode. You could do either of those too. Or particle mod. I like particles a lot, but since I'm in a one point nineteen world, I, I like to limit my particles. But if you're playing in what one point nineteen, uh, you turn on toggle. Then the particles would literally just, they would literally just uh, multiply, and there'll be like way more particles when you hit someone, and like, and you could just have always hit particles, so you don't have to crit to show more particles. Anyway, perspective mod, I'll simply show you what this is. Basically, perspective mod is you toggle it with a key. And yeah, it looks like this. And like you, you, you can't like stop walking or anything. And then you could untoggle it. So you, you literally just like this. You can't, you can't move though. Like you could like move uh, forwards and backwards, but it's kind of like just to see if like anyone's behind you or around you while you're running away. But yeah, but don't use this in high pixel. I I just use it in my one point it hardcore world. But yeah, let's move on to the rest of the mods. Uh, Light settings. Okay. Servers translation. I wouldn't do anything with this. Zoom. There's Optified Zoom. And there's also Scroll Zoom, which is a really good also add-on to this mod. Scroll Zoom. And Smooth Zoom. Also, one thing I like about this is it's, it's there's not very many mods. It's just a very... It's a very light mod pack. It's not very confusing or anything. I, yeah, so, uh, yeah. And there's movable mod settings. Uh, you could just move mods around, I guess. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know what that is really. I wouldn't do anything with that to be honest. Uh, cords display. Uh, you could turn toggle that. You could. You could change the color of the coordinates. Uh, yeah, it's you could put a background on it if you want. That looks kind of cool if you want. But yeah. FPS display. You could toggle that. It'll show the FPS you are getting in your world. Right now it says I'm getting 16 or 15, but that's not actually my FPS right now. Uh, you could also put a background on it, which looks cool, but yeah. For the key mod over, uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, the key mod over here, you have the left mouse button, the right mouse button, but right mouse button every time you click, um, Click on the left mouse button, it'll count as one. You know, just CPS, if you don't know what that means. But for you can toggle it uh, using this. And it will, it will kind of like look like this. You can toggle that off. It'll just be this. And you can, just, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with this. You have the WS keys, you can change the color animation, chroma, custom, yep, you can do whatever, but I would turn that off for now. Anyway, the ping display, just to show how good your Wi-Fi is right now. As For example, if you toggle, it'll just show this, you can also put it back on it, but that's basically it. Uh, for the reach display, it'll just show you uh, how far reach you can reach like a mob or something. But yeah, that's basically it for reach mod. Up to time mod, it'll show you what time it is right now. But it says one hour 21, but I don't really know why it says that. That's weird. I wouldn't do anything with this mod. Armor HUD or UHG. Uh, you could toggle it, you could show the durability if you want, you could change the color, but I'll just leave it like that. The game timers, you turn it on, but timers are super annoying though, to be honest. So I wouldn't I wouldn't do anything with that mod right there. Uh movement status. I don't really know what that mod is, I wouldn't do anything with it. Uh, potion HUD, you could, uh, you could show which potion you have or want for it. If that would show that's, like, uh, you could show, like, which potion is, like, affecting you right now. The time display, you could show real-time display, like, what actual time it is in, uh, I forgot what mode it's called, but, like, you know, like, the 24-hour kind of clock. But, yeah, it'll show that, which is really helpful. So, this would be... I think this would be 407 if I'm not correct. So 407 p.m. But anyway, that is all the mods for Salary Client. And right now, since I'm recording, it's a bit it's a bit laggy, okay. Since I'm recording. But for the Optifine settings, I have turned everything to basically like the normal Minecraft experience. Right here, so you can copy off the settings if you want. There's details, animations, quality, performance, and other. And yeah, as you can see, you can see the XYZ up in the right top of your screen. I have block overlay right here. Looks pretty cool. And the FPS is not too bad. It's right now, it says, right now on average, it's 40 right now, but I'm recording on OBS, and OBS, I don't know why OBS just, like, takes away so much FPS from my computer or Minecraft. I don't know why it does that. I've tried uh, doing encoding settings. I don't know why it does that, but aside from OBS, if, if I... If I had uh, not been recording right now, I would have been having 100 FPS on average. And I have been using a 
Windows 10 laptop, not for gaming, Core i3 8th gen computer. So, to be honest, having a 100 FPS just playing normally really, with a really bad laptop, it actually works out pretty well. So that's why I recommend you saddle your client. And yeah, this is the end of this video. If you like this video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.